I have two helpers with breakfast for the cats in the morning. One is nighttime, <laughs> who has to sample what's headed outside, and the other one is my coffee. <laughs> coffee. Yeah, I got all my helpers in the kitchen this morning, and it's Saturday, so Don gets the morning off from going to get the paper. The paper right. mm -hmm. Although I guess he'd probably rather go get it and actually have it to read than not. Right, I'm really not a big um, online news reader. Yeah, it's the small font. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. If you want to get all the cats inside to come, you just throw a couple cookies, cat cookies. Everybody share. Let Mittens have some too. Mittens is kind of um, a little shy about coming and taking from the others. Come on, sweetie. If you don't come over and get yours, you, you won't get yours. There. I gave her th made sure she got three. It's uh, 51 out there this morning, so it's really pleasant. We had some um, rain overnight, but the main thing is, is that it's windy. And um, I wanted to point out that we have... Let's see which way is the best direction. We have a bumper crop, and I seriously mean a bumper crop of American holly berries this year. I think you can probably see them now. And the reason why that makes me happy is that robins and uh, some other birds will come through in huge flocks and eat them. And I like to do the bird photography. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy to see all the berries. It's not like that every year. Some years is... Um, a low berry season but this year we really have a ton of berries now they won't do that till sometime in January going into February they kind of leave them for the absolute coldest part of the year and it is getting to where most of our leaves are down we still have a few but the ones overlooking the driveway um, most of them have lost their leaves what what I've already been up here one time this morning. I ain't even sat down and drank all my coffee yet. But he's here now. He wasn't here a few minutes ago. Usually he hears me and then he shows up. Good morning, buddy. Hopefully Tux won't come up the hill. It would be better if you would be here to eat while he's eating. That way he's distracted better. Come on. I didn't get so lucky. He's trying to get over here and run him off. That's Tux. This is Stripe. They do not like each other. I carried Tux back down the hill. He's like, but mom, I wanted to chase that other cat off. Could you not let me chase him away? <laughs> I know if he can sneak back off up there, he will. That's just how he is. Does not like any other boy cats. So we're all here around a Chromecast for um, FIRST North Carolina, which is uh, our robotics uh, competition group, all of the levels, elementary through high school, and uh, some people from Duke Power that are going to talk about electrical engineering, careers in electrical engineering. So I do have Johnny over here with his coffee. Good morning, Johnny. And of course, Don's beside me and he's interested too. Yeah. So these are facts about Duke Energy. 30,000 employees, 150 years of service, 133 billion in assets, seven states served, 7.5 million residential customers, it looks like 1.6 million uh, gas customers. Gas One, customers. Seven and a half million electric, electric and gas, yeah. So this really brilliant PhD master in electrical engineering gentleman he's talking about the day uh, his work day you know what does he do and he's sh sharing some of the equipment where he works yeah, batteries so solar cells transformers he's pretty young I'd say he's like 35 yep Don and I are enjoying this Commodore 64 pagers like the ones we used to carry for IBM you know all this ancient technology when there was no internet no cell phones and no Raspberry Pi well, actually, there sort of was an internet when the Commodore 64 was around if you wanted to dial through a telephone line using a, a cassette deck at home. 
So they're talking about using robots here to protect humans, you know, putting them in dangerous areas. And I guess for the power company, that could be along the side of the road or somewhere where there are vehicles moving and you don't want people. Well, these switch yards or switching rooms, these are really high power switches. Right. Hundreds of thousands of kilovolts, and they just, they're really scary to turn on and off. So instead of um, CAD, this guy says he spends all his time designing an Autodesk Fusion 360 and that you can get a free educational account for, for any students out there. Um, you should be able to get that. And I was telling Johnny versus Minecraft or um, what's the um, SpaceX one? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, it would be good to learn how to design something in that. Steve shop here, Steve Hinkle, um, is really fascinating. He's got 3D printers and he makes his own robots with design 3D printed parts. And one of the kids asked him, do you design smaller pieces and then glue them, combine them, put them together? And of course the answer was yes, but um, that's what he's talking about right now. This has been a really good investment watching this. Um, it's pretty cool. Like Don, this guy was doing home automation before home automation was uh, a thing. Before Amazon and Google and other people were trying to help you with your home automation these guys like him they they started out um, early on I missed the screen again but basically Steve said use um, put up a link for a board on Amazon that's $11 so versus blowing up a $50 Raspberry Pi you could blow up a $11 high ESP 320 or something like that it's Arduino it's the latest Arduino yeah but it's just uh, you can afford to let kids explore with it because you know if they blow it up it's 11 bucks versus 50 this nice lady is talking about internships at Duke now and um, the way that I got my foot in the door with IBM was I did a well what they called then a co-op experience but it's basically an internship and um, you know if somebody managers looking at a hire and one person's already worked for the company trained for free got an intern you know done that kind of stuff and somebody hasn't and they've got equal schooling and that kind of thing they're probably going to take the person that's already had some training so I think internships are fantastic opportunities and it certainly worked well for me. My math advisor at UNC Charlotte, he said, go do a co-op. And I listened to him and look where that got me. It got me someplace good. So this is the high school young adult lunch today, stir fry vegetables and uh, the barbecue that we got from Rainbow Meadow Farms. I did not chop up or make this um, Boston butt, but um, it looks really good. So Don said, hey, where's my hat? Where's so my hat? I, I had my grinch on. I got my <laughs> grinch on you. <laughs> Is there a reason why all your shirts have grinch on him? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. He's I don't uh, get enough Christmas cookies, Christmas cake, fruit cake pies so yeah i'm getting pretty gritty yeah don wants sugar and we're trying so hard and it's so hard at the holidays don say doesn't care about presents he just you cares about just somebody baking for him at christmas yeah. which i don't really do except yeah. for one or two days out of the month not right. like every day like i would be doing if we were yeah. if we were 25 i'd be making you chocolate chip cookies right. tonight your your uh insulin resistance could handle it yes, right but right but right yes. now i'm trying to keep you alive till 90. yeah something like that thank you yeah don needs a grinch mask you know at halloween they have those large head masks the uh pikachu and some other guys well they need to have them for christmas characters at christmas time too so last night when i went to work on my lego christmas village clock tower i had a little crisis some of you might remember that I had pulled all the parts that I had and they ended up in a bowl which ended up in a Ziploc bag which meant they weren't organized anymore. And I just couldn't work like that. So I didn't get anything done but I went and grabbed a couple of old tackle boxes and I sort of sorted the stuff out. But you also might remember that I don't like working out of tackle boxes because you can't remove the little cups. You can't just take out and dump and then put back in easily. It's, you got to fish in with one finger and I don't, that's not good for little Lego parts. So I said, you wait for it now, wait for it. 
I sure could use another storage container from Harbor Freight. <laughs> and Don was like, why didn't I buy stock in Sterilite or storage containers or Rubbermaid or something? Because, you know, obviously I've got a few now and I keep on going through more. So we kind of left it there. But we were looking for a little drive today somewhere. Um, and we're headed to Harbor Freight. We got our 25% coupons. I'm going to get a couple of storage containers. It will make my life easier working on my next couple of projects. And, uh, you know, oh well, right? I mean, we didn't really think I wasn't going to need any more storage containers, right? My um, favorite BrickLink seller uh, closed his store yesterday again. And I really feel for him. He um, had some storage bins with all of his Legos that got no accidentally knocked over and he had to close the store so that he could try to clean up the mess and put everything back. And I mean, God, that just, that pained me to hear that that had happened to him because, you know, I know how hard sorting these Legos is even if you've got help. So um, hopefully, I mean, I just have this nightmare vision of these parts everywhere, but hopefully he's okay. That's why I closed the, the lid on these storage container snaps and I'm, Oh, he's really, I don't spill them, but if they did spill, I don't leave them unsnapped. So anyway, country drive, Harbor Freight, Christmas spirit, storage bins. Yeah, we knew we wanted to go for a drive somewhere today and this drive down to Sanford through the country on these less traveled roads really is uh, one of the nicer rides we can take from our house. So um, that's one of the reasons why we come this way when we're just sort of out driving and then, you know, Harbor Freight gives us a reason to just do one little errand while we're out. And uh, we didn't get to watch a lot of Tesla videos today because we were on that um, Zoom with uh, First North Carolina and Duke Power. And that was about 90 minutes. They had a lot of two hours, which I figured they weren't gonna use, but it was a just in case thing. Um, but they did use the 90 minutes up and I, I thought it was really worthwhile and interesting, especially the last guy who showed us his basement workshop with his 3D printer and it kind of reminded me of Don and his garage and all of the good projects that go on there. And uh, yeah, so we're just kind of taking it easy today. Johnny has a book report to write for this book he's been reading and um, I coffeeed him up, I fed him a good lunch, and I highly suggested he use this most alert time of the day to work on it. So that's what he's up to. So Don sent me a message that I sent him back to and it says single press to read. Um, so I'm going to click you it. You might have waited too long. Read messages. I see a cock guy up here. I don't want to run this guy over. Yeah, command not understood. Well, All right, right now minute. that we didn't run over the guy on his bicycle. Um, you know, your message alert went away. On the X, it'll stay up there for on the driver instrument cluster pretty much for forever. So I'm a little surprised that it went away. Um, I'll try sending you a couple more messages and we can repeat. Cause I don't know how you would get back to the message thing now. Don tried the command read messages and that didn't help. So that didn't work. Read text. Yeah, doesn't know that command either. Well, if it's gonna go away before you can get to it, it should let you easily get back We're to it. We're learning, so if you go in under phone and then go over to messages, you can see them. I don't know how you would do that hands-free though. And I was trying to demo two messages coming in as one basically being displayed as one message here. You can see um, that I got in. So I'm gonna send on a couple more messages. We'll try it again. Okay. Marianne Miller says I love you. You're the best. Aww. So it did combine them so that it showed up like that. I still want to test with me sending from the computer where I write paragraphs. Let's see what Somebody's in our spot down on the other end, so <laughs> I'm moving this shopping cart out of the way. All right, I cleaned off Dawn's screen with the microfiber. It was driving me nuts. Hello, my name is Dawn. Yeah, and I can't and I, see. I can't see, and I keep on waking up my girl with my remote control. We're yeah, going to try it. Hold it up a little higher one more time. See? Yeah. It's like a so, book. So, several years ago, Dawn bought some of these red shop towels here. Don't 
ever buy them unless you're going to use them and throw them away because the red comes off in the wash it will it's not good don't do that don't buy red so we had a little concern yeah there were no storage bins on the shelves nope. but the nice ladies found some in the back for me really quick i mean i just walked over she's sure let me look and she scanned the little thing and she came back yeah i got some yeah but i was figured they have a good bit of storage inventory storage in the behind the right. out front i kind of figured they had some more of those um it was eight dollars with tax today with my 25 percent off coupon i'm not sure that was a great price but it wasn't a bad price you know how these places do this they raise the price and then they give you a coupon to make you right. feel or i mean it's and it's the same everywhere i'm not picking on harbor freight right. but um that's about the going rate for those bins is eight dollars so I got two of them. Don got one with his yep. coupon. I got one with my coupon. The girl gave Don a compliment yeah, on did. his on his outfit. So that was good. And uh, she said I was a really good Grinch. <laughs> yeah. So it was okay in there. A few people with the mask down, exposing their nose. I treat those people like they have the plague. I mean, That's really, fine. if you're going to come within five feet of me and you're not going to have your face covered, I, I, I treat you like you're the plague, and right. I move away from you as fast as I can. Yep. Enough said. I agree. control but he's doing the driving so yeah that way I don't go too fast right it would be easy to have a little too much fun out here yeah did you cross the line again yeah she don't <laughs> like it when I hug them curves <laughs> was trying to catch a Pokemon for me and it ran on him. I told him these new Canos region Pokemon, the catch rate on them is really um, low. Yeah. They're trying to use up a lot of berries and a lot of effort to catch the most newest ones. We're obviously at the Home Depot here in Fuquay now. Date night. Right, it's Saturday night, date night. And um, now I'm going to look for that storage bin. Home Depot, I think, already has their Christmas storage bins you know all that red ones out already so i do want one of those cute variegated hollies but 35 dollars wow so this is called a gold mop and it's on sale instead of 30 dollars it's 15 and i just really like it and um don said i can does it come with planning for part of my christmas present this is your christmas present not part of <laughs> <laughs> nice try grinch so Don said, hey, let's just lift off the uh, cover to the under storage, put it in the back seat, and uh, set the plants down in the well. And uh, I think that worked great. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. They're, no, they're not going to fall over. He's not doing it now, but he was kind of like doing that kid thing rolling on the cart. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know that we should uh, floor it and slam on the brakes several times on the way home but that should be fine there it's all soft and padded and everything it's not going to hurt anything wow he's in such a good mood i love it what's not to be in a good mood i guess when you're out in december feeling festive grinch
not Grinch. We all know it's a, a, a ruse. Jules went into dark mode while we were sitting here at Mineral Springs Park and the lights in the park came on too. Yeah, Yay! I think they're on a timer. I think they came on at 5, 5 p.m. exactly. It's 5.01 now. And that just happens to coincide with Jules thinking it's sunset. Right. Very pretty. You must really like that hat. It's keeping your head warm. My head warm. Bald boy <laughs> needs hat. <laughs> you are a very good Santa's helper today. Well, I made a beef stew, a goulash, uh, I don't know, beef and yummy gravy, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's tonight's dinner.